with limited space for gear in the van, we love it when something comes along that does multiple jobs and replaces multiple items. So when Banggood asked us to try this out that could replace all of these, we couldn't wait to see how it did. So stick around to find out. Don't forget to check out our other videos on everything campervan and motorhome related, from solar to water, heating to gadgets, tyres to trips. If you like this video, please do hit the thumbs up. It really does help me to know what you like, and you can ask any questions or give feedback in the comments. If you want to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos, please hit the subscribe button and clicking the bell will give you a notification when a new video goes live. Finally, if you do decide to hit the thumbs down, it would be great if you could also leave a comment so I'd know what you didn't like. So what exactly is it? Well, this nice carry case contains all the accessories and this main unit, which is a jump start pack, compressor, power bank, lantern and a backup power source. Replacing our jump leads, the jump start function claims to start engines up to 8 litres petrol and 6.5 litre diesel. We should no longer need our compressor and as the pack runs off its own internal battery and doesn't need to be plugged in, we also don't need the extension lead we used to use to reach the rear tyres. With its two USB ports, one of which is a quick charge 3 port, it could keep our phones and laptop topped up if needed, meaning our backup power banks aren't really needed. It has a built-in LED lantern, which would replace our work light for if we end up in the engine bay or under the van in the dark. And something it can do that we don't have today is a 12 volt output. Should we ever run out of leisure battery power, it could be a good backup source to keep the essentials in the van going. It recharges by USB, which means we can top it up from mains or 12 volt using our solar or when driving. Often I'm dubious of multifunction devices trying to do too many things and not doing any of them well. So let's see how this gets on. After being away on one of our longer trips, we returned home to find our car battery flat. So here was our first chance to try it out. Connecting the Smart Connect unit tells you if you are connected properly to the device and to the car battery. Once you have the green light, that's your indication that you can start the car. So that's only a small 1.3 litre petrol engine so it should easily do it. So let's try it out on something bigger. I deliberately allowed the van starter battery to discharge by leaving the lights on. I didn't want it to get completely flat to try and avoid damaging it but it was definitely too low to start. So let's see how it does with a 2.3 litre diesel engine. Starting with no problem, we can see that starting those two vehicles has only used 3% of the battery. To try out the compressor, I've let 10 PSI out of one of our tyres. You can see here it's down to 55 PSI. You can also change the display to show various different pressure units. I'm setting the required pressure to 65 PSI and then switch on the compressor. This isn't going to be the most riveting process to watch, so I'm going to speed it up a bit. 
We've also used the compressor function on our push bikes and made an adapter to use it on our air awning. And you'll see that in a future video when we talk more about the awning. Once the pressure that we set at 65 is reached, the unit stops by itself. So there we go, putting in 10 PSI from 55 to 65 took 1 minute 38 and used 3% of the battery pack. When it comes to using it as a USB power bank, we checked it out on our phone first. So with an iPhone X, it used 18% of the power bank's battery to charge the phone from 13% to 100%. And that took about two and a half hours using the quick charge port. We've also used it to charge up our Mavic Mini drone, which is a good way to show the quick charge port in action. Here you can see the normal charge. And then when connected to the quick charge port, once the USB handshake has taken place, you can see the quick charge process kick in. And finally, using it with our MacBook Air. After taking the battery down to 10%, we plugged in the laptop at 8 p.m. and left it. By 6 a.m., the entire battery bank was depleted, but we had got the battery in the laptop back up to 86%. The unit has a 12 volt 10 amp output and comes with a cigarette lighter style socket adapter. We wanted to see how the unit would fare if we wanted to use it as an emergency power source just in case we depleted our leisure batteries. So to get an idea of what it would be capable of, we're going to connect to our 12 volt TV and see how long it lasts. As we can see here, the TV is taking about 0.8 amps. And the pack ran the TV successfully for just over four hours. For the lantern included in the unit, there's not a lot to say, other than it's a good wide spread of diffused light, which is great as a working light, a light in a tent or awning, or even a backup for any power cuts. In our test, we left it on for two hours, which used 9% of the unit's battery. As it charges from USB, it gives the flexibility to charge by mains or 12 volts using a simple USB adapter. Here we're charging from 12 volts using a cigarette lighter style adapter and we can see that the unit's taking 1.4 amps. You can also charge it on mains and we found that either way it takes about three and a half hours to charge from empty to full. The unit comes with the USB-C lead but no adapters. Given that a key benefit of the unit is that it is multifunction, and if one part failed, it loses that, I wanted to see how well it was put together. So I took it apart, and overall, I was impressed with the quality of the build. So overall, not only does it do the job as good as everything it can replace, with the ease of jump starting safely without having to worry about getting another car close, a compressor and not having to worry about keeping it plugged in, and the surprising amount of backup power for USB or 12 volt devices, I would say it's a great unit to have, not only in an emergency, but for general use as well. If you've seen my reviews before, you'll know I often give away the things that I've been sent to test. Well, I'm sorry, this one is definitely one that I'll be keeping. Thanks for watching our video and as always, if you have any questions or feedback, please pop them in the comments below. If you find the video useful, please like, share and consider subscribing.